Hello YouTube, this is Eyes with another editing tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to do this effect that you can see on the screen right now for my, it was for my desirable episode 1 and for this uh, effect I'm going to be showing you how to do um, half the screen in black and white and the other screen just the normal colour correction really it's a very good effect, good for hardcore edits as well and uh, this effect consists of the plugin Twitch as well because when you shoot the last bullet it has to flick out in order for the um, black and white screen to enter and it just gives it more of an impact. So I'll just show you the effect now. There you go, there's the effect. As you can see it was twitching quite a bit there so we're going to have to use that plugin. And this is um, in After Effects so I'm just going to be showing you. And I'm, the clip I'm using is the uh, my AS50 quad feed. And I've added a colour correction as well just to show off the colours and um, make the black and white more vibrant as well because it just contrasts more against the colours. So uh, this is the clip I'm going to be using. Okay, so today we're going to be doing a thing where the last bit I shoot for this quad feed, I want that effect to come in the uh, black and white screen, half screen with the Twitch. So I'm going to be doing it at that shot. It's a very easy tutorial. I'm just going to be showing you basics of it as well. So uh, we'll do it then. Okay, so to start off, we're going to have to um, go into layer, new adjustment layer. This will give you a new layer over your um, video on the timeline. And this will be the uh, layer where the black and white is going to be shown. So you're going to, uh, half the black and white screen is going to be shown through the uh, adjustment layer. So when you have that there, you're going to want to. Um, trim the half the screen so you can make that black and white so in order to do this I'm just going to go on to 33% minimize it a bit and I'm going to use up here it's called the pen tool it looks like a pen like the end of a, a fountain pen and I'm going to be using that and I'm going to be cutting it outside the preview box there right roughly here doesn't have to be that precise okay roughly that so as you can see that bit so this side where it's closed in, that's going to be our adjustment layer, and we're going to make that bit black and white. So, because um, that's all linked together now, and we can make all that half black and white, we're going to add to the adjustment layer. So, make sure the adjustment layer is highlighted. Go on to effects, color correction, and then go on to black and white. That will make it so half the screen is black and white, and the other screen is just normal. So, um, I normally drag the colors up, any random number really. I normally drag them up just to make the. Uh, black and white more bright it's just more effective really you can see more of it so when you see it's just a uh, normal black and white so when I go through it now you'll see that all of um, the clip has got the half black and white in it and we don't want that to happen. we don't want that to happen so we're gonna make it so the black and white will come up when I get the last uh, shot in my quad feed so I'm just gonna look for the last shot so on the frame where I shoot which would be roughly here I'm just gonna drag on to where I shoot so when I do shoot for my last bullet I want that to be where the uh, half black and white screen shows up which is there so in order for that to happen highlight the adjustment layer so it's highlighted now and go onto the frame where you want to shoot and then press control shift and D that will cut your um, adjustment layer and the back bit here so the bottom adjustment layer there we don't need that bit because that's before the shot so all you have to do is just press delete when it's highlighted and then it'll delete it. So when I render it back, when I shoot, it comes up with the um, black and white half screen. So there. So that's mostly it. The only thing we need now is the um, Twitch effect, just to give it more of an effect really. Okay, Twitch is um, a plugin, so it does cost, but you can get it for free just on like look on YouTube and all that. So uh, if you have it, you could easily do it now. So I'm just going to be adding this effect now. I normally go into layer, new, and add another adjustment layer for my Twitch so I know exactly when to use it. So I'm going to be using this Twitch, the same frame where I use the black and white, which is now. So that's the frame where I have the black and white. So I want the, twi uh, the Twitch to be there as well. So on my new adjustment layer where the Twitch is going to be, make sure you're on the frame where I shoot, and then do the same. So Control shift d cuts it then delete the ones that were before so now as you can see the two adjustment layers so the bottom one for the uh, black and white screen and the other adjustment layer for the twitch that's going to be for all of it on the same frame as each other so it'll give more of an impact so if you do have twitch just type down twitch now and it will give you this uh, effect there so that's the plugin I drag it in and um, 
you don't really need to have a perfect settings. I'm just gonna really make it up just see what oh, which ones look better really. So I'm just gonna add slide. The main twitch is uh, slide really. Probably slide and that's really it. I'm gonna go on operations and I'm gonna do a uh, twitch R B, um, RGB split. So where so when it's switching it will just give a red, green, blue flicker to it as well. Just gives more of an impact really. So I'm gonna put it I'm not sure whether to put it what effect but I'll change it to roughly 43 really we'll see how it goes okay so the twitches aren't really occurring that much so in order for the twitches to flick up quite quickly I'm gonna go onto the slide and then where it says slide twitches I'm gonna change it roughly about five that'll be good so there'll be more frequency of um, the twitch to be in place there as you can see and with this it's going to be twitching through the whole thing and we don't want that to happen we only want it to twitch and then we want it to calm down through the rest of the clip so as you, as you can see it's a very good effect it's working but it's twitching through the whole thing after the effect and we don't want that to happen we want it so we want to animate it where when it's black and white we want it to be a very rough shake twitch and then after a couple of seconds goes back to its original um uh, what's it? Twitch, like, so it won't twitch anymore. So I'm just going to be doing that now. So to animate, just go on this arrow here by your adjustment layer, which is the twitch adjustment layer. Go on to the arrow, go on to effects, make sure you select your twitch effects, go on the arrow by the twitch, and then it will give you the amount and the speed. We're going to concentrate on the amount for now. And we're going to go to the start of the adjustment layer where the twitch begins. And we like that setting now, that's a good setting, so it's going to be on 43. So Press the stopwatch next to the amount where 43 is, and then drag. So, where you stop is where you want the twitch to end. So, I want it roughly there to end, so it's going to calm down there. So, in order for it to end, you're going to want to put the amount to zero. So, it will give it roughly half a second for the twitch to uh, calm down. So, let's see, it should be the final product. Yeah, so that's roughly it. If you want the uh, Twitch to go a bit longer, just drag the uh, last keyframe just a bit further. And when I go for it now, it should it should be good. So if you guys just follow this rules, and if you follow everything that I've just done, you can change it a bit to your liking, it's fine. But um, I just showed you the basics, really, so I'm just going to show you the final product. <laughs> So that's it, so um, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you want more, please give me more suggestions what I could do next, please like the video so and subscribe for more, so this has been Desires and thank you for watching.